Okay. This simply isn't true. He quoted, you will need a minimum of 4,152,300 XP to reach level 30. If you do nothing but play ranked, then this will unlock at 38 consecutive victories. And then he went and tagged at Captain Emo. And I made sure he got 38 perfect consecutive wins, but he only got to level 20. The description for the following trophy is rather simple. That's the trophy, I doesn't really load here. While the card master, you use all the characters in network mode. Yet the guide completely contradicts the description. For this trophy, you need to fight against the entire cast. Also, and this is a ma mainly a fault of mine, I have no idea how to execute an insta-kill. Even after reading the guide, down, 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 plus triangle O slash R1. What in the world does this mean? I press down, down, down in quick succession, then triangle and circle in quick succession. Nothing happens. I understand there are prerequisites for executing an insta-kill, but there is no mention in the guide of how to achieve said prerequisites. Can gold burst at the start of the round? How do I make sure of that? Use auto combos while avoiding the fourth or fifth hit. No idea what I just read. Enter awakening. No idea what I just read. What say you in your defense? And then he tags my co-author and me. Beautiful. And then there's mine. <laughs> okay, first of all, you're referencing the wrong trophy. Using all the characters and reach 30 are two different trophies. That was actually a mistake on my part. I correct it later, but more on that later. You will need a minimum of 4,152,300 XP to reach level 30. Wait, did he even get the right XP amount? Yeah, he did, okay. There's your level 30. If you do nothing but play ranked, then this will unlock at 38 consecutive victories. The easiest way to accomplish this feat is by facing an opponent of a higher level. The closer that opponent is to 30, the faster this will go. I screwed up the bow in that part, but that's fine. Points still across. I expect to spend a couple of hours just grinding wins for this trophy. The higher you are in level, the more XP you earn too. This is based on the fact that you, you need to be boosting with someone of a higher level. If you're not, it will take much longer. Secondly, for the insta-kills, you need to be on the game deciding round. So round 2 or 3 if you're up 1 round or it's tied 1-1. One, one. Replay lesson 56 for how to effectively do that. That's the actual lesson, by the way. Instant kills are used to, are to be used when the following rec prerequisites are met. You are in the game deciding round. You have at least 100 SP. Can gold burst at the, same, at the start of the round use idle combos while avoiding the 4th or 5th hit? So that means that you stop the idle combo after the 4th button press. That means you stop it. Gold burst is explained in the tips section. Which again, the guy didn't read. Enter awakening. Awakening is automatic. It happens at low health for the other person. Or well, for you actually, when you enter low health. That's the only way to actually perform an insta-kill. Again, that's mentioned in the guide. You miss two of the main points to be able to set this up. You also need to play the lesson modes before you commit to a game you have very little experience in. It tells you all the fundamentals there. I don't know why you chose to be the person to shame someone on the forum for something like this, rather than DM the authors or post it in the guide comments themselves. But given that you ha they didn't even read the guide or do the tutorial of the game, I can see that I came in here with low expectations. <laughs> I have never been more fascinated in who he is. And then he's agreeing with me in that. God, I agree this isn't a good look. Plus there's a training mode that teaches you how to play the game and do an insta-kill. But PSN Pro isn't equipped to use fighting game notation. So blaming the author seems kind of crappy. And then here's my co-author. <laughs> To add to this, this is why we have stages and should follow them in that order. Stage 1, this stage is all about starting the game, then familiarizing yourself with the game's core mechanics. Start out by going over all the lessons to learn the basics. When we create a guide, we, assuming, we assume you are doing these in order and retain knowledge from the previous stage. If you decide to jump around, that's on you. I'm not against you help answer, helping you answer any question on the trophies like Roro did. But calling us out on the forums like this and asking for a defense isn't the way to do it, in my opinion. 
Also, I did just edit the guy so the 38 consecutive victory statement makes more sense for those who don't read the pa past the first sentence. Hopefully it's less misleading now. I fixed that typo under Wildcard Master, but I noticed that you skipped the first paragraph, which actually said it was for plain as each character. When you were reading, it seems that you immediately jumped over that and headed straight towards the typo found in the second paragraph instead. So while I do appreciate pointing out that mistake to me so that I can correct, I do not appreciate shaming us or anyone who writes guides on a public forum like this without first contacting them via the guide's comments or DMs. Absolutely the most ridiculous part of this entire post. As if guide writers providing free content to help others are obligated to defend themselves against something you found issue with. You might want to check your entitlement here. I'm outraged. I looked through this free pile of money you gave me and one of the bills has a crease in it. <laughs> the plus sign indicates that you are supposed to press triangle and circle simultaneously with the third down input. If you're too stupid to understand that, you shouldn't blame the guide writers for it. I'm not one to make fun of beginners, but you deserve it. And this is by far the best book. <laughs> uh, that pretty much sums up this entire thread. What say you in your defense? Get good scrub. There's a training mode in most fighting games nowadays, and there are even YouTube tutorials. Obu should actually learn how to play instead of calling folks out. If you can't even do an insta-kill, good luck to super combo, lol. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lock the third before it gets too out of hand. To the OP's defense, English is not their first language, so the OP might just be communicated their message poorly. Hopefully it's a bit more clear now or what they need to do. And then... Everyone's kind of looking at it right now. now. Let's go see the updates. Trophies. Um, here you go. That's the one I fixed earlier. Okay. So right here. This first paragraph. This is a massive pain in the arse, which is ass. The reason for this is because you not only have to place every character, but you have to avoid losing track. The same applies to your partner too. If you or your partner lose, lost track, then they must redo every character until they find the one they are missing. And then instead of reading this part, or this part, he jumps right to here where I fixed the mistake. For this trophy, you need to place the entire cast, which includes shadow characters. I originally had it there as fight against the entire cast. So again, a typo. Instead of reading this part and just saying you made a typo here, he automatically quotes this part and saying, calling me out and saying I don't know how to write. Instead of one like it's right there. Okay. Let's go to the other trophy. Go before an AU player. So this is the whole thing. <laughs> All right, and then right here. this is the only thing that was added to it. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't uh, clear enough. So we had to add this part. Read more on this below. <laughs> yeah, that's like. You have all this info, then you have the fact there's an image, which again doesn't load here. But pretty much the image showed that I'm level 30, helping someone out who's not level 30, and we got it done pretty fast. But if you're not level 30, it's going to go a lot slower. But yet, they didn't finish reading this. Oh well. But yeah, that's pretty much how it is, being a guide writer. You always get that one person who calls you out. Fun. Very fun. <laughs>